Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video we will take a look at the legacy that is the Battle of Wolf 359. So let's go ahead and get started. Initiated in 2366, the development of the heavily armed Defiant class was a direct result of the Borg battle. However, as the Borg scare abated somewhat, the development process was slowed down until it was decided to commission the prototype vessel USS Defiant to counter the Dominion threat in 2371. Commander Benjamin Sisko, the former first officer of the lost USS Saratoga and a survival of the Borg battle, was part of the team which developed the Defiant. The ship was called upon to fulfill its original design intent during a subsequent Borg incursion in 2373, when it battled a Borg cube in the Battle of Sector 001. In 2367, Admiral Nora Sete used the Battle of Wolf 359 as a pretext to question Captain Picard's integrity during a Board of Inquiry on Romulan subversion. She implied that Picard's relations with the Borg had led to the battle, and hence he was untrustworthy. In 2369, Picard again was painfully confronted with the consequences of Locutus's actions as he met Commander Sisko for a briefing while the latter took command of Deep Space Nine. Sisko was, on that occasion, only barely able to contain his disdain for Picard, whom he blamed for the death of his wife, she having been lost in battle. In 2370, for a few nights around the time of the fourth anniversary of the massacre at Wolf 359, Memories of the battle and the death of his wife caused Benjamin Sisko to suffer a bout of insomnia. These painful recollections were subconsciously triggered by the anniversary of the battle. In 2371, Vice Admiral Todman commented to Sisko that the Battle of Amaria Nebula between the Dominion and a joint Tal Shi'ar and Obsidian Order fleet sounded like Wolf 359 all over again. Sisko admitted that he had had the same thought. Like the Starfleet ships that stood against the Borg at Wolf 359, very few Cardassian or Romulan ships survived this encounter with the Dominion. In 2372, Benjamin Sisko's father, Joseph Sisko, remarked to his son that the threat of a Dominion invasion of Earth had frightened the population of the planet to a degree not seen since the Borg scare. In 2373, Commander Tricote encountered the Cooperative, a group of Borg drones whose members included at least one member who had been assimilated at the Battle of Wolf 359 and returned to the Delta Quadrant, but who had later been liberated thanks to a malfunction. In 2373, in the run-up to what was to become the Battle of Sector 001 involving another Borg cube, Vice Admiral Hayes ordered Captain Picard, now commanding the USS Enterprise E, to stay out of the upcoming battle. Despite Picard's protest, it was felt that he would add an unstable element to a critical situation due to his experiences as Locutus in the Wolf 359 crisis. Eventually, Picard opted to ignore his orders and entered into the fray, proving that instead of being a liability, his experiences were rather an asset in the battle. In 2374, the Alpha Hirogen car, in control of the USS Voyager, wanted to create a simulation of the Battle of Wolf 359, as it was one of the most notorious battles of the Federation. In 2379, when Picard found himself in a predicament aboard the Scimitar, he was yet again painfully reminded of his experiences as Locutus when Shinzon taunted him with the event. What do your Borg friends say? Resistance is futile. And that, my Star Trek of friends, is the legacy of the Battle of Wolf 359. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.